Hello, welcome to How to Play Backbone, a game for one player. This game comes to us from Solitaire by David Parlett, and his version of the game is going to be different than that linked in the description. Um, it's just minor intricacies, uh, but like a lot of Solitaires, they're transcribed, or they were transcribed by different people at different times. You're going to need two decks, shuffle them up, and deal 12 cards in a column as so, overlapping with one card at the end, and then eight cards to the side, four on one side, four on the other. This will serve as the tableau. The spinal column in the middle will be the uh, backbone. It will be the reserve. Now, you have to play that six of diamonds, whatever the bottom card is, down there first. Anytime you see an ace in the backbone, go ahead and put it down to the foundation and replace it with a different card. So make sure you have 12 pairs of cards uh, crossing each other and one at the bottom. If the bottom happens to be a king, go ahead and uh, replace it with something else and bury that king back in the deck. So once you've made any um, attempt at building your tableau down in suit uh, from your reserves, uh, from your uh, boneyard, your backbone, you're then able to draw cards from the draw deck and play them down to the foundations for building with your goal of building the eight foundations in suit from ace all the way up to king. If you're able to do that, you win the game. If not, you have lost it. Pretty simple concept. So the only cards on the backbone that are available right now that we, as we presently look at it is the seven of spades and the five of hearts. Uh, only the exposed cards are available for building. So I'm going to take that 5 there, move that 4 of hearts there, move that 3 of hearts on top of it. That gives me some new exposure of the 3 of spades and the 7 of spades. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and move that 7 of spades down, get that 6-5, and expose that king. With this game, the odds are against you. More than likely, you're not going to win it. There is no redeal of the uh, draw pile once it's been exhausted, so... You're going to have to rely on replacing the uh, cards in the tableau, the four ribs, as they're known as. Uh, so you get basically eight uh, tableau spots. You can place any card in there and build down in suit. And any vacancy can be filled with any card, either from the reserve, from the draw pile, from the discard pile, but not the uh, foundation piles themselves. No point in going backwards in this game. Not sure if uh, that's just a rule that keeps you from having to go backwards, but it's there as a rule, as a general rule. Uh, you can leave vacancies open. You're not required to immediately fill them, so that's one of the strategic elements. And the other thing you need to remember is this is a one-card-at-a-time game, so you're not allowed to move entire stacks, so you have to strategically plan vacancies to move a bunch of cards so you can get them all lined up. Right now, we have two spots open, so I could move and consolidate that nine of hearts, uh and the ten of hearts and get that jack moved onto the queen which i will go ahead and do now now i'm pondering what i should do as far as what's in the reserve uh, i have uh, three spots open and i'm going to go ahead and move things around because that benefits me uh cannot do anything with that ten of hearts so maybe that was a smart move to uh do that maybe not now i have two new vacancies open now and i have a second uh foundation pile complete so now it's the question of what to do with the rest of these cards. So now the discard pile is uh, full, and that's about it. I've lost this game. So this game is odds against, but let's go ahead and see what a winning condition looks like. What we basically did is we took the cards right up and uh, just went ahead and re-dealt them down uh, so that we'd have basically a rigged game. Uh, we didn't shuffle the deck. So this should make the game a lot easier. Now, uh, we went ahead, there was no aces in the bone, uh, the backbone, and there was, uh, we played the bottom card first. A lot of games set this up so that bottom card is connected between that, what was the seven of spades and the six of spades down there. You can do that for comfort, for aid of teaching this game. Just make sure that bottom card's not a king and make sure any aces that are in the boneyard get placed immediately to the foundation piles. Um, and you'll be good. That's the only real setup rule you need to know. Other than that, this game's pretty, uh, you'll remember it after the first time you set it up. Twelve, uh, pairs of cards not crossing over each other make up the backbone. They overlap so that you can only play exposed cards, and then one card at the bottom, and then four ribs on both sides. 
and uh, those ribs were a tab low where you could build down. Now I just realized I made a gross error there. I managed to put that tin of spades before I put the jack of spades. Uh, I could easily fix that. I had two open spaces. It wasn't necessarily an illegal move. I just didn't notice that I placed things in the wrong order. Nor did I notice I have a four of clubs just staring at me in the discard pile. And I should probably use it. So let's see if I figure out what just happened. I think I'm just so eager to go full speed ahead that I'm not noticing it. Okay, I've completed a second pile. There's that four of clubs. So everything is good now. Let's see, I probably should have done that differently. Probably could have finished that pile off, but I think I'm more concerned with the reserve. There's the five of clubs, so that's good. Now we've moved everything, did an evolution where we can move everything. Realized we could not move anything further. So now we have uh, one vacancy open at the moment. We have to use it the best of our ability. Now we got two. Now we'll have three. And now we'll have four. We'll just go ahead and work from the discard pile and get things backed up. All right, good, good. More and more foundation piles are complete. Another one's complete. And now we have all eight uh, piles open, so we're just gonna move cards until we are forced to stop, and then we'll realize that everything else is just these spade suit, and we have one, so yay! So like always, if you'd actually like to play some card games out in public, come to our subreddit, Card Game Meetups, post your city, Post what games you know, what games you want to learn, uh, what games you're willing to teach. If you uh, click here in the show more in the video's description, you'll be linked to a list of all the pertinent information, including uh, other YouTube channels I like, and a Discord link where we talk about card games all day, every day. Do call up your friends and see. Maybe, just maybe, they actually want to play some cards. They might say yes, they might say no, but you never know until you actually call. Do like, subscribe, and share these videos with people that you know love playing card games and do vote for August's Game of the Month. I want to thank today's musician, and I'll see everybody next video.